Damn it. Another failure. That makes how many attempts since the last one? Hmm? Wait. It... It's alive? Hey, hey! Hey, it's okay! Well, it is evident that you can see me at the very least. Can you hear? Hey, can you hear me? Perfect. We'll do a more in-depth examination soon. But first, do you know who I am? Hmm? Can you speak? It's all right. Don't strain yourself. For now, you can just shake your head yes or no. So, do you know who I am? No. Are you sure? Well, that's to be expected. You were just born, after all. I am your creator. Oh? What is it? Are you trying to speak? It's all right. Your mind knows that the words are there, though your tongue does not yet recognize it. Open your mouth. Go on, like this. Ah. Uh... Good, good, very good. Now, feel your tongue moving around your mouth. You may not be consciously aware of it, but your tongue and your throat make minute movements whilst you are speaking to yourself within your own head. This is called subvocalization. Let us start with hello. Hmm? Your mind already knows the word. You must visualize it. Feel it on your tongue. It is there. It's there. You can feel it, can't you? Now, open your mouth and let it go. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now, let us try a sentence. Watch me. <clears throat> it is nice to meet you. It's all right. It is easy. Watch me. It is nice to meet you. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Speech is a little slow. But you are a much faster learner than the last one. Hmm? Oh, uh, I used to teach English at the local university. Nothing exciting, really. Now, I believe you had a question for me. What is a creator, you ask? Well, it means that I made you. Mm-hmm. Oh, where are my manners? We have technically just met after all. My name is Dr. Elov Frankenstein, but you can call me Elov. <laughs> yes, it is nice to meet you. Oh, what is your name? Well, you do not yet have a name, but let's see. I have a list of prospective names here in my journal. Eve is too cliche. Lilith is too sinister. Abella is a pretty name. Beatrix is quite fitting. And Viviana sounds exciting. What do you think? None of them, huh? Well, I suppose we can always revisit the topic at a later date. For now, my dear, it is time for us to begin the basic examination. Huh? Oh, don't be scared. It is merely to test the responsiveness of your nervous system, your basic sensory acuity, and your respiratory system. That is all. Mm-hmm. None of it will hurt. I promise. All right. Now, I'll go ahead and unstrap you from the table. All right, can you sit up for me? Now, this is called a stethoscope. It is used to listen to a person's heartbeat and lungs. It's a little cold, but I promise I will be as quick as I can. All right, I'm just going to place this on your chest, just below the neck of your gown. 
It's all right, just be still. Okay, your heartbeat sounds good. Nice and strong, not too slow, not too fast. Next, I'm going to listen to your lungs. Can you lean forward for me? Perfect. Now I'm going to put this on your left shoulder blade. Oh, yep, it is quite cold. <laughs> but I promise I will be quick. Now, just relax and take a slow, deep breath for me. And let it out. Now I'm going to check your right side. And again, in. And out. Hmm, your lungs sound just a tad murky. Can you go ahead and take a really deep inhale for me? Ooh, that was quite a cough. Are you okay? Okay, well, that's all right. It's nothing that can't be fixed after all. Now, we're going to move on to your motor response. This little tool is used to test your muscle reflex. You see, my dear, there is a small muscle spindle in your front upper leg muscles, just below the knee, right here. By tapping on it and measuring your reaction, I can test the responsiveness of your nervous system. Now, just allow your legs to hang limply from the table, and I will do the rest. Do not worry, it will not hurt. It's rubber, see? I wouldn't hurt you, my dear. All right, here we go. Did you feel that? <laughs> it sort of tickled, didn't it? All right, so your right leg appears to be good. Now for your left leg. Hmm. I'm going to try another tap, just a little harder, okay? Oh, there we go. That was something. Left leg response is a little poor. Blasted. And I thought this leg would be a real winner, too. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Your motor response in your left leg is a little slow, but again, nothing that cannot be fixed. <laughs> oh, what about your legs? Ah, you noticed. They are slightly different colors. That is because they are from two different sources, if you will. Well, I did not create you from nothing, after all. I merely sourced pieces that were no longer being used. This is why I must test your basic motor and sensory functions, to make sure that all of your pieces are working in concert, as it were, because if I am not careful, I could accidentally take two incompatible pieces, and though I could fit them together, they could refuse to work together, and we don't want that after all. Oh yes. So, some of your skin tones may be slightly mismatched here and there, but it does not change the fact that you are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen, my dear. Your eyes are two different colors as well, though I don't exactly have a mirror around to show you at the moment. Ah, speaking of which, it is time that I test out your sensory functions to make sure that everything is in order. Now, I need you to follow my finger, not with your head, just with your eyes. Very good, stay nice and focused. Go ahead and close your right eye, but keep following my finger. Very good. Now your left eye. Very good. Your visual acuity is excellent and your reaction to light is nice and responsive. Now for your hearing. Can you hear this? And what about this? Good, good. Does it sound the same? Is it muffled or quieter at all on this end? The same. Excellent. Now, we have one last thing to test, and that is your sense of taste. I was running short on tongues this time, so I want to make absolutely sure that it is working as it should. Allow me to grab my samples. Oh, be careful not to touch the diodes on the sides and the back of your neck. They may still be hot. They are what I use to channel the electricity into your body that now pumps through your heart. Ugly things, really. Quite unbefitting a woman of your beauty, but they are necessary, I'm afraid. All right. With me, I have three dowels, each dipped in a specific substance, salt, sugar, and citric acid. First, please go ahead and have a lick of the salt stick. <laughs> Not very good, is it? That's all right. 
That was the ideal outcome. Salt is delicious when paired with food, but alone it can be quite offensive to the taste buds. Here, try this one. This is sugar. Oh, don't look so frightened, my dear. Go on, you will like this one. See? What did I tell you? Sugar is sweet, and even alone can be quite enjoyable. Lastly, we have citric acid. Go ahead and give that a try. What? Also sweet. That can't be right. Citric acid is not supposed to be sweet. It is meant to be sour. Try it again. This is what I was afraid of. Well, again, nothing that cannot be fixed. All right. I think we are all done. You may go ahead and lie back down on the table. I bet all of that took it out of you a little bit, didn't it? I will just strap you back in for safety's sake. Well, it seems your pain receptors are working. Do not worry, my dear. The tightness is necessary. <laughs> you should have seen the last time I did not tighten them enough. How do you think I got these claw marks on my neck after all? Hmm? What am I doing? I am preparing my tools for the operation. Well, I guess there is no harm in telling you since you will not remember it. I am going to dismantle you, my dear. Oh, yes. I imagine it will hurt quite a lot. But only for a moment, and then it will all be over. Unfortunately, the process will kill you, but not for very long. And I had such hopes for you, too. You can struggle all you want, my dear, but those restraints aren't going to give. I have made sure of that. Really now, screaming? How unladylike. Well, you may scream to your heart's content, but no one will come. My manor rests atop the hill by Crystal Lake, and nobody visits the lake or the surrounding area because of the rumors that circulate about a mysterious man who kills and dismembers people that come here. <laughs> ah... I see that your tear ducts are working splendidly. That is good. I will have to keep that in mind when I reassemble you. Yes, I said reassemble. You are not my first creation. Though I suppose it makes sense that you wouldn't remember. It's actually better that way, really. You see, you are my twelfth iteration. You were almost perfect, but not quite. And honestly, the more that I look at you, I am beginning to believe that I do not prefer the heterochromia look. It was fun in theory, but symmetry is always one of the purest forms of beauty, is it not? Why am I doing this? Well, because I am trying to create not just life, but art. You see, my father, Victor, though an incredibly intelligent man, had no eye for aesthetics. All he cared about was creating life for life's sake, but that is not enough. After all, it was that disgusting cur he created that was his downfall. As ugly as sin and as dumb as an animal. <laughs> Terrified of something as mundane as a simple match flame. That is why I decided to pursue my father's craft to perfection. You, my love, will be different. You will be beautiful, intelligent, graceful, emotionally complex. You will know what it means to live and to love, and I will teach you that love. But not this time. Maybe iterations 13 or 14 will be more promising. Now, lie still. Though it would be the quickest and easiest method, I'm sure, I cannot kill you with electrocution, for I risk damaging your most integral components, your heart and your brain. So, I will simply perform a quick incision here, between your breasts, remove your sternum via the handy bolt and latch system I installed last time on your rib cage, and sever the primary arteries connecting your heart to the rest of your circulatory system. It may be messy, but you will be dead within minutes. Do not be afraid, though. Your death will only take as long as you make it, and I will be here beside you the entire time. 
Now, cease your squirming, and let us commence the operation, my love, while the moonlight is still on our side. I didn't expect there to be so much smoke this time. <laughs> Maybe I need to lower the voltage back down just a tad. Oh, wait. She... She's alive? She's alive! <laughs> oh, he hey, it's okay. Welcome to the world, my beautiful creation. Tell me, do you know who I am? No. Are you sure? Good. Oh, nothing. Just rattling on to myself. Here, let me unstrap you so that I may introduce myself and we can begin the preliminary examinations. I have great hopes for you, my dear.